Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how y'all get y'all wigs like this. How y'all get them glueless wigs glueless and this point blank period just like that like if you want your wigs to be looking like this just keep watching the video like if not it's cool babes i really hope that you all enjoyed this video i took some time preparation y'all didn't do my makeup i never i never would do my makeup for so just know i care about this video i didn't do my makeup for y'all so i hope y'all enjoy and yeah i'm mainly gonna be doing a voiceover because your girl didn't feel like doing all that talking so hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope my video comes out right because obviously i haven't started editing it yet but i really think i'm gonna like it and i really do like how this wig came out this is a 26 inch wig from amazon i will link it in the description box but i hope you guys like my video hey guys so i'm gonna be going in with my 40 volume developer today and i'm gonna be using this bw2 powder so first I usually just like to do maybe one or two little spoonfuls of the powder, it just depends. And then I'm gonna go in with the developer. And as you can see right here, I'm just gonna be mixing it around. Now you do want like a two paste consistency. You don't want anything that's too loose. You don't want anything that's too big. So as you can see, I'm just trying to get that pasty type. I'm just gonna keep mixing it around as you can see right there once it gives you that type of look then you're able to apply it to the wig so I'm going in with my guys to be goose spray just to hold all the flyaways back from the hair so I just spray a little bit of that on the lace and then as you can see right here I start to brush it out And a real important part right here is that you want to start from the bottom of your lace. See, I didn't, but that's okay. I want you to start from the very bottom of your lace because those knots are going to be harder to bleach. And they're going to take a little bit longer than the top part. So you don't want your knots to bleach faster at the top than what it would at the back. So you're just going to go in. Do not, like, rub it into your lace. You're going to kind of, like, dab it in there. It may be a little bit difficult, but just try to, like, not really press it into the lace. So that way you don't over bleach your hair. And then this is what it should look like before. And then this is the after. I think I let it sit for around like 30 minutes, I wanna say. And you're just gonna watch it. And then you're gonna go ahead on and start washing your hair. Rinse that out once it's done. And now you see me going my purple shimmer light shampoo and I'm just gonna apply that directly onto the lace not really the hair itself you want to apply that onto the lace so it doesn't give it that brassy look because you just got that bleaching it so you want to kind of like keep it settled you know? and I'm just gonna put that out throughout the hair make sure you wash shampoo and condition your hair really scrub that lace like you see I'm doing here you really want to scrub that lace then you're just going to rinse it out and then right here I'm getting ready to prep the hair to be blow dried even though it is deep wave it is really soaking wet and I want to give it that dry look okay so your hair should look a little something like this after you're done bleaching it the hair already came pre-plucked and it is a glueless wig, so I didn't have to do any additional plucking. But yeah, this is what my wig looks like. And as you can see right here, I'm just trying to dry it up. And you can see the lace right there. So and right now, I'm just going in and blow drying the hair. hair after it's blow dry so I'm going to my wax stick and then I'm just gonna part it and I'm going to apply that wax stick I'm doing this so that way my wig can be very flat when I put it on my head so that way it looks more natural and it's getting scalp so as you see right there I'm just going in with my hot comb I'm just flattening the hair after I apply the wax stick and you're gonna do this all throughout your whole lace
And another thing, it's really important to hot comb your hair at a backwards angle. And then you kind of like go over it if you, you can see what I'm doing in the video. But I just like to give, do my wigs like that so that it gives you like that natural look when I install. And you'll see it later on in the video. If you see now, the wig is more flat at the top. It's not giving like that poofy, bulky look. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to put the wig on my head. And it's already giving glueless. You don't have to apply any glue at all whatsoever. The hair is really poofy, so I add some water into it and I'm gonna go in with my brush and just brush the hair throughout to get that deep wave look back. And you can see a big difference from one side than the other. I'm also going to go in with my mousse and just apply that throughout my hair. Even though I was running out in the video, it's definitely important to apply mousse through your hair. If I would have had a little bit more, it would have been a little bit better, but it's okay. I'm just going to work with what I got. But yeah, I'm just going in with my spray bottle. Okay, so this is the final look. The hair is really pretty. I do like it. It is 26 inches, so it stops like right underneath my boob. I really think that y'all should get this wig. I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to glue this wig for the summertime, you know, you don't want to do nothing too much to your hair. You don't either know how to do a wig install or you don't want to do something that's too much. I think this would be perfect. This is what it looks like on my head. If you want, you can add your own baby hairs, but you really don't see the lace like at all. I Okay, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that this video was really helpful, you know, if you're trying to get a wig like this or if you're just trying to do a wig install, period. But that's going to be the end of today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye.